This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for February 21st. The men's basketball team opened the week with a 74-72 win at Wright State. Aaron Pogue made 8 of his 10 field goal attempts to finish with 18 points, while Norris Cole scored 16 points, grabbed 10 boards, and 6 assists. Cleveland State shot 55% from the floor and improved their Horizon League record to 12-4 on the year. The Vikes then hit the road to take on Old Dominion in the annual Bracket Busters game. Cole set the Bracket Buster record with 35 points on eight three-point field goals, and CSU outscored the Monarchs 16-10 in the paint, but it wasn't enough as Cleveland State fell to ODU 74-63. Cole's efforts were enough to earn Horizon League Player of the Week honors for the fifth time this season, a league record. The Vikings host Milwaukee Thursday and wrap up regular season play against Green Bay in the Horizon League Game of the Week on Saturday. Women's basketball swept a pair of league road games last week, led off by a come-from-behind victory over Wright State on Thursday evening. The Vikes trailed by 15 in the second half, but closed the game on a 44-21 run to prevail 74-66. Honesty King scored 18 points on a career-high six three-point field goals, and Shanita Garland led the Vikings attack with 23 points. The win marked the 100th career victory for head coach Kate peterson Abiad. The Vikings again found themselves in a hole at Detroit, trailing the Titans by four at halftime. Garland came up big, though, with 32 points on 13 of 21 shooting from the floor and 5 of 8 beyond the arc. Garland was named Horizon League Player of the Week for her efforts. Shea Winton posted a double-double with 12 points and 12 boards as Cleveland State pulled away from a 68-68 tie to win 74-71. The Vikings outscored the Titans 34-26 in the paint, 24-17 off turnovers, and 14-8 on fast break. The Vikings are in action against Youngstown State at the Wolstein Center Saturday. Softball won three of its four games at the Austin P tournament last week. The Vikes opened tournament play with a 1-0 shutout over Ball State in which Tess Cito tossed a complete game and Dara Toman's solo home run in the fourth inning provided the difference. Toman followed that with two home runs and three RBIs against host Austin P in a 7-0 Vikings victory. McCall Shepard hit her first career home run, a two-run shot in aiding Cito, who earned another victory in three and two-thirds innings of scoreless relief. Cleveland State bounced back from a loss to UMKC by taking out Belmont 4-1 in a game that the Vikings scored all of their runs in the first inning. The team is off until March 5th and 6th when they compete in the Ohio University Invitational. The baseball team took one of three games at Longwood in their season opening series this weekend. The Vikings blasted the ball against the Lancers in the second game in a 22-10 win. CSU tied a school record eight stolen bases, and Zach Thompson set the school record with four stolen bases. Chuck Gassy drove in six runs, and the Vikings scored seven runs in the fourth, five in the sixth, and six in the eighth, and the 22 runs were too shy of a school record. Cleveland State heads to UNC Greensboro for a three-game set this weekend. The women's tennis team dropped both of their decisions to Michigan State 5-2 and Indiana 7-0. Nicole Janik and Maria Lazares each won singles at MSU, and Alex Power and Alex Bush won a doubles match against the Spartans. The women hit the road at Toledo in Western Michigan this weekend, while the men's team heads to Ohio State and Duquesne, and then host Illinois State on Sunday. The wrestling team fell to West Virginia 46 to nothing and are off until the EWL Championships on March 6th. And Cleveland State will host the Horizon League Swimming and Diving Championships starting Wednesday and running through Saturday at Busby Natatorium this week. This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for February 22nd. And for all the latest on Cleveland State Athletics, check out CSUVikings.com.